Over 2,000 years ago, on the outskirts of Bethlehem, Jesus came to earth as a baby on a night humankind would never forget. God sent his Son and gave us the gift of his love. Hear now the greatest story ever told. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah. He was married to Elizabeth, a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were righteous before God, observing all the Lord's commands. But they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and they were both very old. Once when Zechariah was serving as a priest before God, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. When Zechariah saw the angel, he was startled and afraid. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and your, you will call him John. He will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he was born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go on before the Lord with the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin engaged to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. Mary was troubled by great, greatly by his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be call called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and she who was said to be barren in it is in her six months, for nothing will be impossible with God. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child who you will bear. And why has this happened to me? 
that the mother of my Lord comes to me. For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Caesar Augustus that all the Roman world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to be registered. So Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea to the city called David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and lineage of David. He went there to register with Mary, who pleaded to be married to him, because and she was expecting a child. Time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her first son, firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in bands of cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. region there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flocks at night then an angel of the lord appeared before them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid i bring you good news of great joy for all the people today in the city of david a savior has been born to you he is the messiah the lord this will be a sign for you you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts 
praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about, the ch about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. Wild fields and floods, rock fields and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the earth with truth and grief, and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders and wonders of his love. Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying God and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Glory and honor to the great gift that frees us. Glory, hallelujah, Christmas is Jesus. Rejoice, joy to the world, our Savior is here.